Hello, this is Legal Talk Network, and we're here at the State Bar of Michigan 2016 Annual Meeting in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'm Joanne Hathaway. I'm Tish Vincent. I'm Shanique Moss. And we are on the road with Legal Talk Network. And we're back. Shanique, I understand that you are the incoming chair of the Young Lawyers section of the State Bar of Michigan? Yes, that's correct. Okay, could you tell us some upcoming engagements and events that are going to happen that are, would be of interest to the State Bar of Michigan members? Well, we have a lot of um, things that we're planning for this year. Um, one of the things that are, is first occurring is the American Bar Association Young Lawyers Division Conference. We are an affiliate of that, as are a lot of other young lawyer groups within the state of Michigan, and we are hosting. That's going to be October 20th through 22nd at the Westin Book Cadillac Hotel in Detroit. There is a special Michigan lawyer rate of $50 if anyone's mm-hmm. interested. Something That's else a good that rate. the yes it is considering mm-hmm. that the other rate is ninety five dollars or one thirty five so Absolutely. it's a, a great discount. Um, some of the other things that the section um, currently has on its calendar, we are going we're going into our second year hosting the national trial advocacy competition. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's going to be November 4th through 5th at the Ingham County um, Courthouse in Lansing, Michigan. And that competition is open to um, law schools from around the state. Okay. It's to law students? Yes, in- law students okay. around the state. Excellent. And you're probably looking for people to be judges in that competition? Yes, definitely. Yes. Um, young lawyers should have received an email um, in their work email about volunteer requests. Okay, excellent, excellent. So how long have you been involved in the Young Lawyers section? Um, I've been involved in the section um, since about 2009. Mm -hmm. Um, First as a committee member and just a general member at large and working my way from treasurer to secretary to chair elect this year. And then around 2.30 today, I'll be the official chair. Okay, okay. So So seven years you've been involved. Yes. it doesn't seem like that long ago, and I'm, I have like two years left in the division, okay. but it seems like I'm still a young lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I, say, I would say you are. So what have you personally enjoyed about being involved with the young lawyer section? Um, I think uh, it's just been a great way to network and meet a lot of young lawyers and uh, more senior lawyers from across the state. Um, I really enjoy the um, work that the Young Lawyers section does in the community. We do a lot of community outreach programs. Mm -hmm. Um, One program that just took place um, a week or so ago was Know Your Rights program. And that's basically where we got a lot of um, lawyers and nonprofit groups together and provided uh, tables, kind of at an event, something like this, for Mm -hmm. um, school-aged children, and it's basically the whole premise of knowing your rights, like, you know, if you're stopped by the police, what should you do, you know, what are your rights as far as school and so forth like that. So it's a really great program that um, this year we did it in Flint. It's each year we pick a different location. Sometimes Mm -hmm. we do multiple locations. Um, This year it was like in in Flint, like I said, at the Boys and Girls Club. Okay, so an outreach to high school students mostly to... High school students, junior age. Okay. Yeah. To help them know their rights and understand the government and civics a little more than they would if you didn't go out and share it with them. How many members do you have in the Young Lawyers section, Shanique? Um, Currently, I think we're around um, 8,400 members. Oh, my goodness. Um, Not all of them are active. As far as our board is concerned, we have 23 uh, members of our board. Well, 22 actual young lawyers. And the other position is for the chair of the law student section. Now, you had also mentioned, in addition to the programming that you just talked about, the outreach to the teenagers in Flint, you had mentioned that you were going to be partnering with the ABA and working with them coming up in October. Can you tell us a little bit more about that programming and what's going to be happening with that partnership? As I mentioned before, the State Bar of Michigan is an affiliate of the ABA Young Lawyers Division, um, as are a few other, um, actually eight other young lawyer groups across the state. Basically, at the conference, there'll be a, a combination of CLE, and professional development programs. Uh, there'll be some community outreach. There'll also be some diversity initiatives. One of the programs that we're working on is a program um, under the diversity umbrella. It's called What Do Lawyers Do? That program is going to be um, a part of the conference. It's going to take place at Wayne State on Friday, October 21st from 2 to 4. 
And that program is um, geared towards college-age students to expose them to young, well, young lawyers, more senior attorneys, judges, to let them know what the uh, what it takes to become an attorney. There'll also be some discussion about LSAT and law school admission. Wayne State is partnering with that. Um, we have another uh, program that is taking place at the University of Detroit Mercy. It's a seminar, but it's under our public service umbrella for the American Bar Association and Owners Division. And it's going to talk about, um, I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but there was a recent case where um, some attorneys filed um, a case against the Detroit Public Schools, and the question was, is there a constitutional right to literacy? And so mm -hmm. we're going to be taking a more in-depth look at that. Um, that kind of goes along with our public, our public service project for the American Bar Association Young Lawyers Division this year, which is focused on trying to get um, young people to think not necessarily just about four-year colleges, but trade schools. And just we're trying to really emphasize the fact that they should be thinking past um, high school and thinking about furthering their education, whether it's trade school or college or whatever the case may be. Excellent. Sounds like you're going to have a busy year. Yes, and one of the things that we're doing, I wanted to mention this, um, for the Young Lawyers section, traditionally a lot of our committees have primarily been focused um, and, how, and manned by folks who have actually been on our board. But this year we're really trying to engage the rest of the section, and mm -hmm. so we're going to be opening it up to general members of the section to get more involved. And we have a number of commu uh, committees dealing with pro bono. That's something that we're really excited about. One of the things that we're going to do with that this year is um, October 1, we're going to launch a pro bono challenge to encourage young lawyers to get more involved with pro bono opportunities. Um, we're also going to we're also going to be doing a community outreach. We're going to be doing diversity. We're going to be doing um, trying to really focus more on education and um, providing opportunities for our young lawyers to get more um, skills and so forth like that. So we are going to be partnering with uh, various sections of the State Bar of Michigan um, to really kind of engage our members and it so sounds, forth. It sounds like such an organized effort to partner with a lot of different sections and get out to the schools and get out to the colleges. I'm really impressed with the with the breadth of the outreach that the Young Lawyer section is engaged in. That's and pretty I'm, amazing. I'm amazed that she can even remember all of that, I let alone <laughs> do it. <laughs> So, okay, well, that's going to conclude our podcast for today. We thank you very much, Shanique. And for our listeners, would you be willing to provide your contact information should anyone have any questions for you? Sure. Um, my email is my name. It's S-H-E-N-I-Q-U-E-M-O-S-S at gmail.com. My cell phone number is 586-808-1908. Well, we've reached the end of the road for this episode. We'd like to thank Shanique Moss, our guest, for joining us. And we'd also like to thank our listeners for tuning in. If you liked what you heard today, please rate us on iTunes. We'll see you next time for another episode of On the Road with Legal Talk Network. If you'd like more information about what you've heard today, please visit LegalTalkNetwork.com. Subscribe via iTunes and RSS. Find us on Twitter and Facebook. Or download our free Legal Talk Network app in Google Play and iTunes. The views expressed by the participants of this program are their own and do not represent the views of, nor are they endorsed by, Legal Talk Network, its officers, directors, employees, agents, representatives, shareholders, and subsidiaries. None of the content should be considered legal advice. As always, consult a lawyer. Thank <laughs> you.